In a church in Chicago's Roseland neighborhood on the city's south side, there is a celebration yeah, this is nice. of the people who call this place home. Long known for shootings and violence, Roseland is now reframing its own narrative. It began with Andre Taylor. Dre was a wonderful grandchild, great grandson. The 16 year old star athlete was killed in 2016. Police telling his great grandmother, Betty Johnson, the shooter thought he was someone else. To go out there and look at him laying there on the ground, bleeding in the rain. It's a feeling that you never, ever will forget. I just remember seeing young people walking around in a little bit of a daze. In a place used to memorials, the pastor thought this one needed to be different. It needed to honor the neighborhood that loved Dre. What better way to show the beauty of the neighborhood than to show people's faces? Enter local artist John Baker. People submitted their own photos. Yeah, it's important that people control how they get represented. For the next five years, Baker painted members of the community, nurses and cops, musicians and kids, Betty and Dre. 500 years ago, the only people who got their portraits painted were kings, and each of us are worthy of that kind of attention. This is the Roseland Portrait Project, 397 faces later. When I go out there and look at all of them, they see my grandson. See that? Does my heart really good. Roseland, the whole picture. Maggie Vespa, NBC News, Chicago. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.